I wove from the cardigan. Oh, off, off, and off, and bought. What did she use it for? Make, uh, get the batting to make all our wool puffs yes. to keep us warm in the winter. And the uh, used to then add an old spinning wheel here then uh, to spin the yarn and make a nice homemade woolen stockings. Good. That's that was great. it. Well, then she did some hand carding. Oh, yes. She did her own spinning. That's all. Oh, she did her, she, her own spinning. If she wanted to dye anything a different color, she would. Oh, do, yeah. She yeah, always had to dye her own yes, on the pots, big pots on the old cook stove yes, here. Yes. And then they'd hang it out to dry here in the, on the back line. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, nights, why they would. Uh, Oh, then they used to get a button hook a lot of mats. Right. Wool mats, all of that stuff, yes. to cover it all different yes. colors and have hooking yes. bees in here. Uh huh. And when she ran short, why, she'd always go up and uh, you could always buy wool from her because lots of times she took it on the shares. Oh. See now, I they see. used to do it on the shares an awful ah. lot. The carding ah. mill was done now that way. So many pounds they'd bring in, no money was passed from hand to hand. At that time, the person that brought it in. Why, uh, uh, they'd make arrangements, and they'd weigh the wool done on the hives. She'd get half, didn't cost her nothing to have it done. Otto would take that, and that's why he'd sell her what he made his profit, to sell it to the people around, so much a pound, to weave or to battings, whatever they want. That's the way they did business in those so days. So he, he would make a fair amount of money that oh, way, yes. wouldn't he? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. When it wasn't done with cash, it was done by other halves. And yes. he used to like to do it in the halves because he made more money that way. That's right. That's right. You have no idea how much.